Hello everyone, today I will make a tote bag. I will use 6 mm cord and 7 mm hook. So firstly, let's prepare the end of the cord. I'm using a lighter. So be careful, it's hot. So my cord is prepared. Let's start working on our tote bag. So firstly, we will have to chain 22. So let's chain 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So we have a chain. Of twenty two. Now round one. Chain one, miss one stitch, and make twenty two single crochet. Yarn under, pull it through, yarn under, pull it through. So this is one. I will make it slowly once again. Yarn under, pull it through, yarn under, pull it through. It looks like this. Now let's make 22 single crochet. One more time, I will make it slow. Yarn under, pull it through, yarn under, pull it through. So we already made one, two, three single crochet. So let's continue by making 22 in total. So we have one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty one, twenty two. So we made twenty two single crochet. This is how it looks like. Now make four single crochet in one stitch, meaning in this stitch we will make four single crochet. So one in the same stitch, two, three, and four. So we made 
four single crochet in the same stitch. Now let's continue with 20 single crochet. By the way, you see the end of the cord, so let's crochet it so it would be in the middle. So 20 single crochet. One, two, see it's the end, four single crochet and then continue with a single crochet. One, two, three, four, Seven, eight, nine. It is harder. Ten. It is harder because I want to hide the end of the cord and you cannot see the, the end of the cord. It's somewhere in the middle. So we need 10, yes? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's continue till we have 20. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we need 20 single crochet. Now let's make three single crochet in one stitch. So in this one we will make three single crochet. One in the same one. Two in the same one. And three. So we need three single crochet in one stitch. Now let's join and in the run, let's join with the slip stitch. So, this is how it looks like. At the end of round one, you should have 49 stitches. 49 stitches. So count carefully and you should have 49. Let's do it together for the first time. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 39. Now round two. Let's start by chaining one. Chain one. Now let's continue with 20 single crochet. Yarn under, pull it through, 
yarn under, pull it through. I will show it slowly. Yarn under, pull it through. Yarn under, pull it through. So we made two single crochet. So let's make 22 single crochet. We have two, so then three, four, five. Do not do not make it very tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Let's double check. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So at the first the first round I made it quite tight as it's the first round. Now do not make it very tight so that the purse would not be very sturdy. So twenty single crochet. Now two single crochet and one stitch. So in this one, the first one and the second one, two single crochet and one stitch. Now two simple single crochet, one and two. Now again. Two single crochet and one stitch. The first one and the second one in the same stitch. Now let's continue with twenty single crochet. Twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now 
Let's make two single crochet and one stitch. So the first one and the second one in the same stitch. Now one single crochet, one single crochet, and now again two single crochet and one stitch. The first one and the second one in the same stitch. Now, this is the beginning of the round, so let's join it with a slip stitch. Let's miss this one, and this is the beginning of the round. So, right here, pull it through, yarn on. You know what I'm doing. Just a slip stitch. Just a slip stitch. So this is the end of round two. At the end of round two you should have 54 stitches. All the way you should have 54 stitches. Now, round three. Let's start by chaining one, chain one, make two single crochet in one stitch. So, the first one and the second one in the same stitch. Now, 22 single crochet one two three four five six make two single crochet and one stitch right here so the first one and the second one to the same stitch now again two single crochet and one stitch the first one and the second one Now let's make two simple single crochet. One and two. Now again two single crochet and one stitch. The first one and the second one. Now again the same, two single crochet and one stitch. The first one and the second one. Now let's continue with 21 single crochet. One two Th 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one. Now two single crochet in one stitch. The first and the second one. Now one single crochet, one single crochet, and Two single crochet and one stitch. The first one and the second one. And at the end of the round, let's join with the slip stitch. This is the beginning, so let's join with the slip stitch. So this is the end of round three. This is how it looks like. At the end of round three, you should have 61 stitches. So around here, you should have 61 stitches. And this is how it looks like. This is the bottom of the toy bag. So now we'll have to work on the sides of So, we just need the bottom of the bag. Now, let's work on the sides of the bag. I will remind you that we have 61 stitches all around. And now we will be working in single crochet all the way. So, how we will do this? Every round from 4 to 26 will be the same. So, chain 1, then one single crochet working only in the back loop, another single crochet working through both loops. So, only in the back loop. Yarn under, pull it through, yarn under, pull it through. This is how it looks like, and the second stitch is working through both loops. So, Yarn under, pull it through, yarn under, pull it through. So now do the same all the round. Be working, firstly working in the back loop and then working through both loops. So, only in the back loop. Yarn under, pull it through. Yarn under, pull it through. And now working in both loops. Yarn under, pull it through. Yarn under, pull it through. So this is how it looks like now. So let's work together all this round. And then I will leave you alone with your project. So only in the back loop through both loops only in the back loop through both loops only in the back loop through both Only the back one through both loops. 
and continue this till the end of the round. working on in the back loop now at the end of the round join with the slip stitch so join with the slip stitch now round five chain one we will be working in single crochet just uh, one difference the first stitch you are making in the back loop the second one you are making in the middle of the loop right here yarn under pull it through yarn under pull it through you see this is how it gets the form of letter V and once again work only in the back loop then where it is letter V work in the middle of the loop the stitch so this is what you should get so again working in the back loop and then in the middle of the loop you see it's getting the braided look so i'll repeat this a couple more times working in the back loop work in the middle of the loop in the back loop in the middle of the loop in the back loop now in the middle of the stitch so far I got the loop like this this is working in the back loops and this is working in the middle of the stitch so repeat this at the end till the end of the round and I will meet you there now we are almost at the end of the round 5 so single crochet in the back loop through the stitch only in the back loop through the stitch only in the back loop through the stitch and one more only in the back loop now join at the end with a slip stitch and pull it through 
So now we have the tail look like this. We can do it like this. So this is the end of round five. Now round six. As always, chain one and now work one in the back loop, one in the middle stitch. Single crochet in the back loop and then here in the middle of the stitch. This is how it looks like. In the back loop, in the middle of the stitch. Once again, in the back loop, in the middle of the stitch, in the back loop, in the middle of the stitch. Again, this is how it looks like, working in the back loop, in the middle in the back loop in the middle in the back loop in the middle in the back loop in the middle so repeat this till round 26 chain one at the beginning two different single crochet and slip stitch at the end of the round now i am at Round seven. This is how my tool bag is coming up. But um, finishing this pull of the cord, I have. So I will show you how I will join the ends of the cord. So just crochet till the end of the cord. Work in the back loop. In the middle of the stitch, in the back loop, in the middle of the stitch. So I have another spool of yarn, and what I will do. ends and I will use a lighter to join the ends. This is polyester so I can do this easily. Be careful. This is how it looks like. Okay, so this one is gone. Another one is here. So let's continue with our project and I will show you that it's gonna be invisible. So here is the join. It's visible, so I will make it more tight so it would be somewhere in the middle. Voila! It's invisible. So continue working like this. We will make round 27. 
in this round we will make the holes for the handles so chain one now make five single crochet the first one is in the back loop the second one is in the middle of the stitch the third one in the back the fourth one in the middle and the fifth one in the back loop now let's make the hole we will make the hole by chaining three one two three chain three miss one stitch and continue with a single crochet make 11 single crochet so in the back loop so this is the hole so we made a hole and let's continue with 11 single crochet so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven now let's make, now let's make the second hole for the handles so chain three one two three miss one stitch and continue with a single crochet make 17 single crochet so only in the back loop one two three four five six <coughs> seven eight nine ten eleven eleven twelve Thirteen, <coughs> fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Now let's make the third hole for the handle. Chain three, one, two, three, miss one stitch and continue with single crochet. Make eleven single crochet. So only in the back loop one so now continue with 11 single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven now chain let's make the last hole for the handle so chain three one two three miss one stitch and continue with single crochet so in the back loop first and continue till the end of the round one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 
13 and at the end join with a slip stitch get finished so, round 27 and this is how it looks like we have four holes for our handles now the last round and our tote bag will be finished we will just have to make the handles so round 28 chain one now make five single crochet to the hole one two three four and and five now two single crochet in the hole one two make this look like letter v like it's below so continue with 11 single crochet to the next hole in the back loop one two so we made one one two three <clears throat> four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Now, once again, when you have a hole, make two single crochet. One single crochet and the second one. So we made two single crochet in the second hole now continue with 17 single crochet one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16 and 17 and this is our third hole so let's make two single crochet in the hole the first one and the second one this is how it looks like now let's continue with 11 single crochet to the next hole let's start with the back loop One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, and this is our last hole so let's make two single crochet in the hole the first and the second one now let's continue to the end of the round working in single crochet
and now pretend to join with this lip stitch. What I'm doing at the end. I'm cutting the cord. Let's cut the cord. So here we have the end of the cord. I'm using a lighter to burn the end of the cord. Be careful. And now just fast enough. What I'm doing here in the first stitch, I'm pull it, pulling it through, then pulling it through right here. Let's make a knot here. I'm doing like this and now let's hide the end somewhere in the inside the basket the back the tote bag it's right let's pull it through one and through one more stitch let's do it like this So, so our tote bag is almost finished. Let's see what do we have. So now I will be making the handles for the tote bag. So we will make like it will look like three chains. So you will see. It. So now I have a slip knot. Let's chain three. One, two, three. Now insert your hook in the second chain. Insert your hook and pull it through. Now insert your hook in the third chain and pull it through. Insert your hook and pull it through. So now you have three loops on your hook. Now drop the third and the second loops and chain one. Now put on the second loop, chain one. Now put on the third loop and chain one. So it's gonna be like working three different chains. So we have three loops on our hook. Drop the third and the second one. And now chain. Oh, I lost it. So let's repeat it. Mm -hmm. So, three loops on the hook, let's drop here the third in the second one, and now chain one, take the second loop, chain one, take the third loop, and chain one. Do not make it tight as it will be hard for you. So these three loops are the base for the handles. So just let's keep on moving the same and you will see the handles will come up. So drop two loops and chain one. Put on the second loop. Chain one and put on the third loop and chain one 
You see? It's not going straight, it makes a form of a round. So, this is how it looks like. Like we have chain 1, chain 2, and chain 3. And this is gonna be our handle. So, I already made one handle. It looks like this. And I am working on the second one. I'm already finishing it, so I will give you some tips how to work on it. So, so you have three loops, take two loops of the hook, I'm holding this with my finger, chain one, take the second loop, chain one, stretch it with your finger, Put the third loop and chain one. As this is the last round of making the handle, I will uh, now I will make the last round. So I will make small loops and then I will just pull it through at the end. So just chain one, chain one and chain one so these loops are small ones now just put it through so it looks like this so what i'm doing at the end it looks like this i'm taking the scissors i'm cutting the cord <coughs> using I'm using the lighter to burn it a bit. So we have we have the cord like this. So Just make it like this. The very end. And you see in the middle of here we have a stitch. So I'm just pulling through this stitch. Pull it through. It will be in the middle of the handle. And it will be invisible too because it will be like this. So pull it through till the end. Like this and probably the last one and one more. So this is it, that's it, this is the handle too. So the length of the handle is 80 centimeters or it's 30 inches. So it's 80 centimeters or 30 inches. Now I will show you how to put the handles on the, uh, on the tote bag. So now the last thing is to put on the handle. So pull it through the hole and make a knot like this. This is one handle and pull it through another hole, make a knot like this. So we have one handle on.
This is the second handle. One knot and another knot. So this is how it looks like. 